Hey everyone, so in this video, we will deploy a Spring Boot application using the Azure Container Apps and using the GitHub source directly. So we will not build any sort of a Docker build or push it to image uh, repository. It will be done by the Azure Container Apps. So let's go to the Azure Container Apps. Click on Create and click the Create New Resource. So I'll just create um, ECA that is Azure Container Apps Spring Boot. Okay, and container name is uh, uh, Spring Boot Hello Web. Okay. And region I would choose HTS2. I'll go to the container and here unchecked and out of the I'll just directly choose the automate your deployment and build image. And here I'll just choose the my repository in a doc uh, github and repository if i choose um spring hello web okay and here i will i should choose azure container registry or either i can choose the docker hub but in this case then you'll have to provide the docker credential so that azure can push the image into your docker hub but for that you require uh, if you want to use the azure container registry then you need uh, the container registry. So let's go to the Azure and search for container registry. And currently there are no registry, so let's create it. And I'll just choose uh, or create RG REG and give the name any. This should be. Uh, unique name so I'll just uh, randomly giving any name and the location I will choose uh, central US or East US 2 and um, I'll go with the basic one and just review and click once the validation is passed you can create or you can click on the create you can yeah so it started all right so let's go to the resource and before you um, refer uh, this registry you should click on access keys and create an admin user otherwise you will not be able to get this uh, registry or repository or image from the repository all right now let's try again Okay, let's see what happened. Everything looked good. So now our ACR would be available. So let's choose uh, the ACR that is the Azure Content Registry that we have created. And now we have a Docker file. Docker file is already present over here. Again, a very simple Docker file. You can refer for deployment. It is currently working. And now I'll just click on apply. And now go to the ingress here ingress is um, it's just for if you want to uh, restrict the outside uh, of the organization say for example a public uh, internet can access it or not that is for that so just click on enabled accept traffic from anywhere so that we can see the demo and then insecure connection for now yes it should be but depends upon the organization that you'll have to uh, choose this behavior now all look good and you just need to enter the port 8080 and review and click on create so once this validation pass you can click on create and you're done you just need to check the url so let's wait for some time it's passed now click on create this will take little time maybe uh, three or four minutes so i'll pause the video so now our deployment has completed now go to the resource Click on create, uh, sorry, and your application URL and your Spring Boot application is running. So now let's test it and endpoints, students, that is there. Now let's try the second. Now, uh, we want to see the second student information. Then we could get 
all right so that's it um this is a very simple uh, deployment of a spring boot application on azure container apps using um, the docker file which is residing on the github source so we are not building any sort of a docker file we are just um, uh, providing the docker file on a source and everything will be done by azure container apps okay so that's it uh, for this video thanks for watching see you in the next video